Okay, hi everybody. Hello. Hi. I'm not quite sure how many of you are out there because the camera won't get everybody in the same frame, but welcome to uh, the seven o'clock SLOFA virtual class. My name's Frank. Thank you for joining. Um, and I'm gonna just mute everybody here real quick so that we don't talk over one another. Um, and but everybody can hear me, right? Yeah, perfect, perfect. Uh, so welcome. Um, if you want to turn your camera on, if you don't have it on, that's fine. Uh, kind of helps me see you a little bit and help understand if I'm even doing this right. <laughs> uh, it's seven o'clock, so we're gonna go ahead and start. Uh, you guys go into child's pose. And just now, as you sink into your hips, you stretch out your back and your arms, decide that for 60 minutes, you're gonna breathe on purpose. Just settle in and make your breathing as slow and deep as you can. It should take on a quality, your breath. It's real juicy feeling. That both awakens you and calms you down. Get your lungs as full as you can make them, then empty them as far as possible. Go ahead, fill your lungs all the way up. I invite you to open your mouth and blow that air out. Folks, come into tabletop, stand on your hands and knees. And I'm real keen on alignment as our practice is built on that foundation. So check out your body here. Look down to your legs. See if they look like they're going straight up and down. And then situate your wrists beneath your shoulders. Then move through cat and cow. So when you inhale, move your head up, lift through your chest, drop your belly. And as you exhale, bring your chin to your chest and create a big arch in your back toward the sky. Good, breathe in, expand the front of your body open, and then exhale, roll your back in a big arch. Take your time, go slow, do three more on your breath. Move to open your chest on an inhale, and move to release tension in your back as you exhale. Slow and steady. You guys look great. Then after a couple, three of those, when you finish, bring your back to where it feels flat. Then look at a spot on the back of your mat. One spot. Bring your eyeballs to the centers of their sockets and focus on one thing. Take a deep breath in, downward facing dog. Hold your eyes on that spot and make the back of your body the biggest open V position you can make it. V for volume. 
vibrancy, voluptuousness. How many other V words? Just beautiful, stretch out. Always, I would encourage you when you're in down dog, move your head. So move your head up and down, move it side to side, roll it around. Encourage your neck to be soft. Generate energy in your legs to move your hips back. Take a full breath in, open your mouth and let it out. Good, walk up to the front of your mat, ragdoll. So remember here, the wider your feet, the better. You know, take them out a little wider than your hips. That'll help release tension in your hamstrings and the smaller your back. If you're feeling awfully tight anywhere in your backside, bend your knees. See, can you make the top of your head face your mat? And I'll ask you to bring attention to your feet. Press into the inside and outside of your heels and the parts underneath your big and small toes. Folks, ground yourself right where you are. Breathe deep and slow. Take one more long inhale. And I invite you again, open your mouth and blow that air out. Good, now put your hands on the floor and you have an option. Bring your feet so they're under your hips or bring your feet to touch. Whatever feels right, right now. Then bring your hands together in the middle of your sternum. Make the top of your head stretch out to whatever wall is opposite of your butt. So not your forehead, tuck your chin down and lengthen through the crown of your head. Now make your shoulder blades pull inward toward your spine. Draw them in, make your back as flat and long and strong as possible feeling. Breathe. Then on your next inhale, arise, extended mountain, stand up, face your fingers skyward. I'll ask you to create a sense of internal alignment. So get your body to where your ears are above your shoulders, your shoulders are above your hips, and your hips are above your ankles. Feel alive. Feel balanced, sense your own personal alignment here. Take a deep breath in and then bring your hands together in front of you. Three ohms, inhale. Stand in a line, hug in, squeeze so your fingers feel firm, your arms, your torso, your legs. Feel your feet firmly planted into your mat. Inhale, extend in mountain. Move your fingers toward the ceiling. Exhale, fold forward. Draw your head towards the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back, bow forward. 
Inhale, extended mountain, upright, tall, full of body, breathe in. Exhale, fold forward. Come halfway up, high plank. So see if your wrists are underneath your shoulders. Then set your heels above your toes. Feel the strength of your body dialed in to your core. Feel that area of muscles around your belly button, strong and firm. Breathe in, exhale, low plank. Now continue to breathe. Don't give up on your breathing and hold that firmness in your belly. I can see some of you, you want to lay down. Go ahead and lay down. That's fine. I don't care, right? It's your practice. Stay where you are, though, in your breath. Good. Then the next time you're ready to inhale, upward facing dog. Move your head skyward. Lift your chest forward. Breathe in. Downward facing dog. Look at one thing. It isn't got to be the same thing every time. But see one thing. And feel the back of your body become open. Because you're making it come open. And the power of your legs stretch your back out. Go ahead, lift to your heels, bend your knees, look forward, inhale, walk or jump to the front of your mat. With an inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. With your inhale, extended mountain, create alignment structurally, exhale, bow forward. With your inhale, halfway lift, high plank. You breathe in into your core. When you exhale, you go low. When it's time for you to inhale, upward dog in your expression. And when it's time for you to exhale, downward facing dog. I love the slow flow. It's not keeping up. It's making your practice truly your practice through your breathing. Get to your toes, bend your knees, inhale, then come to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift, exhale, bow. Extended mountain, as you stand, breathe in. As you fold, exhale. When you inhale, half lift, high plank on an exhale. While in high plank, breathe in. Then when you're ready to go low, you exhale. When you're ready to breathe in, up dog. And when it's time to exhale, down dog. All time to breath, your movement timed to your breath. That's the magic area. That's the sweet spot of the practice. So fill your lungs, look forward, exhale, move forward. Now this time, put your feet together, halfway lift, bow forward. Breathe in, chair pose. So there's nothing different about the alignment principle. I'll ask you to feel that your ears are above your shoulders and your shoulders are above your hips. So lean weight into your heels. Get up off of the front of your feet. Work that dynamic, powerful energy in your legs to make your hips go just a bit lower. Take a full breath in, fold. Inhale, half lift, high plank. You set up low with an inhale, then breathe out to low. Breathe in to your up dog, then breathe out to your down dog. It is yours to create. Your body pose to stretch out your back. Take your time for warrior one. Move your right foot to your right hand. Know that your feet are on your mat firm. Then stand up ideally with a breath coming in. Wherever you are, look at something in front of you. 
with your eyeballs and the centers of their sockets. Get your ears above your shoulders. Set your shoulders above your hips. Take a deep breath in. Exhale to low. Take your time. Then when you're ready to inhale from low, you move into up dog. And when it's time to breathe out, you move to down dog. Catch your breath, set your gaze. And just as dynamically move to warrior one with your left foot first. Take a step, ground down your feet, and then practice standing up with an inhale. Bring your right hip forward just a bit. You can turn your back foot in to help with that rotation. Look at your left knee. Is it above your front ankle? If it's not, go ahead and set it that way for your safety. Take a deep breath in, low plank to exhale. With an inhale, up dog, and your exhale guides you back to down dog. Create flow, folks. This is a strong practice and you add these subtle little movements to cultivate strength inside of you. Take a deep breath in, look forward, walk or jump forward. Feet together, inhale, half lift, exhale, bow. You breathe into your chair pose dynamically from the ground up, lift up, fill your lungs, exhale, bow. Breathe in, half lift, high plank. Breathe in and high plank, then exhale to low. Inhale for up dog, exhale to down dog. So the thing is, the slower and the deeper you can breathe, the more pronounced your movements will be. And it's slow flow after all, so take your time. Breathe deep and slow. So you're gonna do warrior one again with your right foot taking the first step. And again, time it as you can to breathe in to stand up. Hold your eyeballs centered in their sockets. Everyone fill your lungs. Exhale, flow to low. Flow into up dog from an inhale and flow to down dog with your exhale. And then you do warrior one with your left foot. Breathe in to stand. Exhale, go low. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Set your eyes on one thing and breathe perhaps like you've not breathed all day or in a week. Breathe on purpose. All right, you folks, put your feet together at the back of your mat. Inhale to high plank. Side plank, move your left hand toward the ceiling. Oh yeah, there you go, your left hand. Now you can have your feet on top of one another. That's a strong way of doing it. If you'd rather stand on your right knee, that's a dynamically powerful way of expressing this pose. Whatever helps you lift all of your body up toward the ceiling. And go ahead and look up. Look to where you wanna move your body to. Breathe in to get up a little higher, low plank. Inhale for up dog. And again, you ready to exhale, you go to down dog. When you're ready, right? When you're ready to breathe, you move. Now reach high toward the sky with your right heel, breathe in. Crescent lunge, step your right toes in behind your right wrist. And again, as you can, see can you time standing up with an inhale and then get aligned. Don't even worry if your hands are in the air or at your heart center, whatever. Get your ears above your shoulders, your shoulders above your hips. Have your front knee be standing above your front ankle. Everyone draw your hands to your heart center, breathe in. 
open twist. Just turn your torso to the right. Leave your elbow up off your knee to an open twist. All right? If you want to bring your elbow to your knee, that's on you. That's fine. But if you're upright, again, check your alignment. Are your shoulders kind of leaning forward or are they standing up over your hips? Right? And then wherever you are, spread out your hands. Move your right hand up toward the ceiling or move your right hand toward the back wall. But I encourage you to look to your right hand. Follow your right hand as your right shoulder draws into your spine. When you exhale, turn your whole chest a little more. Breathe in and twist a bit more. One more inhale, warrior two. Come all the way back around and express open through the front of your body. That happens when you turn your right knee out to face the small toe of your front foot and draw your left pelvic half back. Take a deep breath in, extended side ankle. You can put your fingertips to your mat or block. If it's better, put your elbow on your knee. All I'll ask you to do is not slouch. Keep the weight of your body in your legs to drive your bottom ribs up so that when you exhale, you can rotate a bit more open. Take one more breath in, low plank. And when it's time to inhale from low, you up dog. And when you're ready to breathe out, you go to down dog. When you're ready, you breathe and you move. Okay. Looks like we're all set here. Inhale, feet together, high plank. And then you're going to do side plank again on the other side. Move your right hand toward the ceiling. Right. So if you're going to put your left knee on the ground, I encourage you to set it beneath your hip, directly underneath your hip. You're standing on your femur bone, that big bone in your upper leg. Take all the weight out of your shoulder. If your feet are stacked, don't just use your arm to lift. Use all of the muscles in your body to lift all the weight of your body up. Look up, breathe in, low plank exhale. Move to up dog with an inhale and let your exhale carry you to down dog. Your body's carried from your breathing. You don't make it happen. Your breath makes it happen. When you inhale, extend your left heel up high. Step it up to your hand, left hand crescent lunge. So just kind of take a stock of where you feel in a balanced way. If you're at all feeling a tipsy-topsy, move your left foot over to the left a little bit more. So that you're broad left and right, as well as front to back. Draw your hands to heart center and check your alignment. Ears above your shoulders, shoulders above your hips. Take a breath in, and then either open twist, keep your chest up, or bring your right elbow to your left knee. Again, dynamically press your torso away from the earth. Ground the four corners of your feet. I know your right foot isn't standing on all fours, but feel that energy, all four corners of your feet grounded. Then move open your hands if you wish. Right hand to your block or mat, left hand toward the ceiling. Right? Or just right hand forward, left hand back, wherever you're working it. You inhale to drive more energy into your legs to ground yourself so that when you exhale, you can turn just a bit more. Breathe in and then turn a little more. One more inhale, warrior two. Don't whip it around, bring it around dynamically, intentionally, purposefully. Set your front knee above your front ankle. Set your shoulders above your hips. 
Take a deep breath in, extended side ankle. All right, so your left elbow to your knee if you prefer, or your left fingertips to your matter block. Again though, how high up can you make your bottom ribs go? Seek to lift from the underside of your body up, then when you exhale, turn your whole chest cavity open. Breathe in and really rinse. One more inhale, low plank, cause you're exhaling. Then it's time to inhale, so you move to up dog. And it's time to exhale, you go to down dog. Seek to find a spot to look at and breathe deep and slow. Lift to your heels, bend your knees, inhale, walk or jump forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, bow. Extended mountain, you fill your lungs as you stand. And then bring your hands down alongside you, low mountain. Uttita Hasta Parangustasana, extended, lift your right leg up as high as your right hip. Standing leg raise. Breathe. As best you can, hold your eyeballs centered in their sockets. Check your alignment. Feel your skeletal system be aligned. Flex your lifted toes so your right leg doesn't feel so heavy. Breathe in. Then move your right leg to the right Extend your left fingers all the way over to the left. The idea is you look over to your left thumb. Breathe. And if it, you know, if it's a little awkward today, you know what you tell yourself? So what? You just go right back up and do as you can do, right? I so appreciate you guys being on here doing what you can do in this moment. And I tell you, the best you can do is breathe. Take a full inhale, then while you exhale, bring your head and your knee forward. Kick your right heel forward strong, your heel. Lift your hands above your head, breathe in, airplane. Push your heel and all 10 fingers behind you. Lift your chest forward. There's a slight element of backbend here. Ground down and look out just a few feet in front of your mat to the floor. Breathe. Draw your hands to your heart center. Inhale. Samastiti. Stand on both feet. And just take a moment, like shake it off, that side's done, and get back into alignment. Get back into your breath. And in standing leg raise, lift your left knee up as high as your hip. But I'm telling you, if you're not flexing your left leg muscles, your left leg's going to get heavy real quick. So squeeze the muscles in your legs into the bones in your legs. Take a deep breath in. And then move your left knee to the left and extend your right fingers to the right. And remember, gazing at your thumb doesn't have to be in one motion. You can breathe and slowly track your gaze over. Create balance right where you are. Breathe slow and deep. Inhale, then bring everything forward. Kick your left heel out hard, like you're jamming on the brake. Lift your hands high, fill your lungs, airplane. Push your left heel and your fingers back. Raise your sternum bone up. Push forward through your chest. 
Now the tendency is your left hip's going to get a little bit higher than your right hip. Make the small toe of your left foot face down. Square your hips. Stay in alignment and breathe. If you fall out, come right back up. Draw your hands to heart center. Inhale. Samastiti. Stand on both feet. And then shake it all off. That series is done. You're all good. There you go. I see people dancing. That's awesome. Right? Yeah. All right, tree. Now bring your right foot all the way up into your left thigh, if possible. Wherever you can get it so that your right foot is above or below your knee. Look at something in the space you're in, one thing. You probably got a lot more interesting things to look at than the walls here in the studio where you are. See, can you focus on only one thing? With your eyes and bring your mind to the one practice of an inhale, and then practice your exhale. Create balance. Generate groundedness right where you are. Take a full breath in and then stand on both feet. Shake it out. Yeah, and then tree, your left foot comes up into your right leg. And did you know that you can do a kickstand mode? Like just have, I'll step back so your foot is down by your ankle. You got both feet on the ground. Maybe you're just having one of those days. Things are a little crazy, difficult to balance. The idea is you create balance. You're not going to find it anywhere. And the tools you use primarily are your gaze and your breath. Whenever you feel unstable, practice breathing and holding your eyeballs centered in their socket. You are balanced, all of you. It lives within you, a sense of balance and groundedness. Here is your moment to tap into that. Whatever that looks like for you today, at this time, know it is good. Know that it is good. Take one more breath in and then stand on both feet. Right, then wherever you are, just walk kind of all the way up to the edge of your mat. See the edge of your mat. And know that that's what you're living right now. You're living on edge. Practicing what you can do in your space with your breath and your body. But thank you for coming out tonight and playing your edge, all of you. Get aligned structurally. Then inhale, extended mountain. Lift your hands up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale to a flat back, high plank. And again, I'd ask you to draw attention to your core. This is an amazing core pose, pose right now. So bring attention to your core and breathe. Inhale, and then go to low. When it's time to inhale, you move to up dog. And when it's time for you to exhale, you go to your down dog, your down dog, your stretch. Breathe. Okay, warrior one, move your right foot to your right hand. And again, take your time, no hurries, no rush, slow flow. Check your alignment. Is your front knee over your front ankle? Is your left hip kind of drawn forward a little bit? Are your shoulders above your hips? Draw your hands to heart center, inhale. Warrior two. So 
dynamically create a sense where the front side of your body feels spread open from your pelvic area through your chest, your entire axial body drawn open. Inhale, straighten your front leg, triangle. So you can put your fingertips on a block outside of your front leg. That's what I recommend. You know? Versus trying to reach toward the ground and crunching your lower body. The idea is to ground your feet, then elevate your torso up away from the ground so that you can exhale to turn a little bit more through your backbone. So lift a little, breathe in, and then exhale, draw your top lung back. One more inhale, warrior two. Reverse your warrior now. Take your right hand behind you, reach the back of your head toward the back of your mat, fill your lungs, low plank. When you're ready to inhale, it's for up dog and down dog comes because you're exhaling. Ideally, set your gaze and collect your breath. Sometimes at this point in the practice, you're like, whoa, the breath got away from me. So regenerate conscious, purposeful breathing. All right, warrior one, move your left foot to your left hand. And again, take your time so that the timing is you inhale while you're standing up. Slow. And then again, set your gaze forward. Draw your hands to heart center, breathe in. Warrior two. So what helps to spread your hips open is turn your back foot perpendicular to the side of your mat. And face your front knee to the left side of your mat. Breathe. Okay, straighten your front leg, inhale, triangle. Touch your mat or block outside of your left leg. Oh, just, you guys are amazing looking. Let me just say that right now. It's really cool to watch you practice. Thank you for inviting me into your space. Right. Because that is a sacred space, right where you are. Your body is a sacred space. I invite you to stay in it. Breathe to help you stay focused on you. Lift up on an inhale, then draw your right lung back as you exhale. Take one more breath in, or your two. And then go ahead, reverse. I mean, stretch big, breathe in and draw back and open, low plank. You inhale, so it's up dog. And you exhale, because you're moving to down dog. Set your gaze and breathe real good. All right, folks, come into high plank. You're gonna probably um, enjoy this because I know I do. Put your feet together at the back of your mat. Stay in high plank. Watch it, I can see you. Now draw your right knee up to the back of your right elbow. And hold it there for a tick. Breathe. And push it back. Inhale. Then exhale, draw it over to your left elbow, your right knee to your left elbow. Hold it there for a tick. And then push it back as you inhale. Now draw your right knee up to your nose and arch your back. Really feel it in your core. Draw in. Pull your knee in toward your face. Lick your knee. Smell that baby. Give it a big wet kiss. Breathe in. Downward facing dog. Stretch your back out again. All right, your feet together. Come into high plank. Kind of know where we're going with this, right? And bring your left elbow up to your left knee. Left knee to your left elbow, sorry. <laughs> left elbow to left knee is next week's advanced class, okay? Knee to elbow, then push it back, get a breath in, then cross your left knee over to your right elbow. 
feel it in your core. If you ain't feeling it in your core, make it feel it in your core. Then push your knee back, your foot back, then draw your knee to your nose. And I mean, pull it in as tight as you can. Draw the pit of your belly in and up. Breathe in, downward facing dog. All right, hallelujah. All right, come into high plank. And I'm gonna count from five to zero. You breathe all the way through as you lower your body all the way to your mat. Five, four, start to bend your elbows, lowering three, two, one, you're almost there, and then you lay down and put one ear on your mat. You can go ahead and rest your hands down by your hips. Hopefully where you're at, you know, you feel like it's nice and clean so you can just trust the floor underneath you to stretch open. And surrender, just for a moment, surrender your body to your mat. I'll ask you not to surrender your mind to thought. Keep control of what's going on in your head by maintaining focus on your breath. Take a full breath in. I invite you to open your mouth and blow the air out. All righty, turn your head the other way. Just turn your head. Share the love on that side of your face. Take a full breath in. Open your mouth and let it out. Locus. So you put your forehead or chin on your mat with your hand down by your hips. Rather than press your palms in, Lift your palms and press the tips of your fingers into your mat, like your hands are spiders. Good, so you've got your fingertips pressed in, then lift up your chest toward the front of your room, right? So if your chest, your sternum bone isn't really vertical, tuck your chin down, get the bones in your neck to stay long. Lift up, breathe in, and then lay all the way down. That's one, do another, locus. Now, more than just your chest, you can lift up off your hands, lift up off your legs, as much of you as you wanna lift, lift. But go now, breathe in and lift up through your chest, lift up through your legs if that's where you are, fully draw in breath to lift, and then lay down. And it's just like this anywhere you go, whether you're in the studio or wherever you are right now, the third one is always the best one. So this third one, make it your best. Third locus, come up, breathe, breathe. But again, roll your chin down so your neck stays long too, like the rest of your backbone. Extend up, fill up, lift, and then you're back to earth. Okay. Cobra or upward facing dog. If you don't know the difference, they're both back bends. Cobra, you leave your pelvis and legs down because you're gonna keep your elbows bent. If any of you are going for straightening your arms, I implore you, lift up your legs, lift up your knees and shins. Draw your chest forward, everyone. Inhale, downward facing dog. And then set your gaze on one thing. Again, it doesn't have to be the same thing you've been looking at, but a spot. And feel the big open space you are making in your backside. Take a deep breath in and then let that air out of your mouth. All right, now walk or jump your feet through your hands, get on your back. Bring your ankles underneath your knees and right away, bridge. I know this is all like honor system. I can see some of you, but not all of you. So some of you, you're doing your hair. Some of you are taking a sip of water. You're missing out. Come on up, bridge. Breathe in, lift everyone all the way toward the ceiling. Drive your body up and then bring your hips to the ground and move your knees real easy side to side, really. 
and then do another bridge. Use leg strength first. Your legs will first get your hips up. Then use your back. Walk your shoulder blades in toward your spine. Use your legs, use your back to lift your hips and then move to the earth. Move your knees side to side. Now, I don't know how sweaty you are where you are. If you're pretty warmed up, do wheel. If that's not in your forte, go to bridge again. If you're not in doing wheel today, go to bridge again. But I'm telling you, the more you bend your back right here and now, the probably you're gonna sleep better tonight. So if you're laying on your butt, get up now, breathe. Everybody, bridge your will. I can see you. You guys are like, ah, oh, you can't see me. Yes, I can. Everybody up, breathe in and then bring it to earth. Supta Baddha Kanasana. Touch the bottoms of your feet together. Let your knees move toward the floor. Whether you're looking straight up or you have your eyes closed, center your eyeballs in their sockets. Breathe deep and slow. Draw your knees into your chest, folks. Give yourselves a hug. Breathe and squeeze. Yeah, right? They're not letting us hug too many people nowadays, so best get a good hug of yourself in there. All righty, now move your feet straight up toward the ceiling. You might wanna put your hands under your sacrum, under your lower back, just to protect if you got a back issue. Good, flex your toes toward your face. And again, I'm gonna ask you to focus on that area of muscles around your belly button, specifically just below it, right in your Uddiyana Bandha spot. Breathe in, and from that spot of muscles, lower your feet one third. Again, honor system, so if you're cheating yourself, you're cheating yourself. Fill your lungs and then bring them another third down. So you're more than halfway down. Breathe in, and with your core muscles, bring your heels to a hover. Sometimes it helps to look up at your toes, take some of the strain out of your neck and back. Breathe. Now bring them back up a third, just a third. Then bring them back to a hover. Ooh, just do a hover. Breathe. Now take them up two thirds just beyond halfway, then back to one third down. Breathe, and your core feels strong, then raise your legs straight up and hug your knees into your chest. Good. Push your feet straight up toward the ceiling again. We're gonna do scissor legs, right? So one leg at a time. Draw your right heel down to about six inches from the ground. And slowly raise it back up. A little quick now, move your left heel toward the ground, but then go slower to raise it back up. All right, so quickly bring your foot down, but slowly raise it back up. And you just keep moving like that, breathing, feel it in your core. Right from your core, you should feel the movement of your legs being generated. That's the sweet spot. Keep going a couple more times. We're not gonna do this all night, just a few more. Keep moving and breathing. Good, then face your feet straight up, then draw your knees into your chest, give yourself another hug. Then rock and roll forward and back a few times. Rock to your feet, then up to your shoulders. Oh, two, three, four times. When you're done tumbling, downward facing dog. And again, I'll ask you to look at one thing and focus on one breath part at a time. It's two parts. Your attention's on your inhale, then your attention's on your exhale, then another inhale, and an exhale. Just like that, repeatedly. Focus. 
All right, folks, put your feet together. Move your right heel up toward the ceiling, fill your lungs, bend your knee and crank open through the right side of your body, big and open. Set yourself up for half pigeon. So please, I'll, I'll ask you, it's hip openers. Before you even stretch out, there should be a little bit of like, uh-oh, something's going on in my hips right now. So get in that place where it's like, all right, my hips are feeling it, and then extend out into half pigeon. Be honest with yourself. Like, be true to yourself here. Stay focused on your breath. Hold your eyeballs in the centers of their sockets. Remain in your body. Let your mind scan throughout your body from your toes through your legs, feel the feelings in your hips, just feel them, notice them. Stretch out your spine. Allow these few moments to be selfish moments. All about your breath. All about what you are experiencing here. Hopefully, a sense of letting go of whatever. I don't even know what to let go of. Your body has a memory. This opportunity you're in right now is your body's opportunity to release. Sometimes you don't even know what it's holding on to. So you sit, you breathe, and you witness the moment. few deep breaths here, nice and slow. Fill your lungs as full as you can. Let it all come out of your mouth. Downward facing dog. And again, I, I have to ask you to focus on one thing with your eyes and one thing with your mind. Then put your feet back together, move your left heel up high, bend your left knee, and create dynamically a big space through the left side of your body. Inhale, set yourself up for half pigeon. And again, rushing into it, okay. But slowly, like, let it evolve. Let it come to you, the pose. Melt into it. Mindful breathing, conscious here, fully conscious of you, of your feet, your legs, your hips, your axial body, everything in your upper body shoulders, your arms,
relax as you exhale. Appreciate the life that comes into you when you inhale. And a chance to let go of what's not serving you as you exhale. Practice so you can maybe breathe three seconds on an inhale and three seconds on your exhale. Deep and slow. A few more breaths. To truly be in your experience. Take one more long breath in. Open your mouth and let it out. And then downward facing dog. Another opportunity to create volume in the back of your body. Open up your back the back of your legs, the back of your neck, maybe move your head around a little bit here, release any tension there in your shoulders. Take a full breath in, let it go. And just walk up to the front of your mat and take a seat. I'll ask you to put your feet together, humor me and put a little bit of a bend in your knees. Relax your hands and arms, lift up through your back, breathe in, then lean your chest forward, draw your chest over your upper legs. Reach towards your toes with the crest of your head versus your hand. If your hands get to your toes, great. If your hands won't get to your toes, great. Feel your back get long. Inhale, come up a little bit, and then exhale, stretch a little more forward through your lower back. Inhale, a little lift. Exhale, a little bit longer through your vertebrae. Then you all come to seated. I recommend now you go to waterfall, so you put a block under your hips and raise your feet toward the ceiling. If you're up for a traditional headstand or you want to rock shoulder stand, that's up to you. Do whatever you're doing. If you're doing shoulder stand, please be mindful, especially if you're doing a headstand. Probably safest bet is just waterfall. It's a beautiful pose. The idea is to get your legs vertical. So you encourage blood flow, all that rich oxygenated blood you have created to flow from down in your legs and bring restoration to your vital organs. So have that as a concept in wherever you are here. I'm here for restoration in these moments. Stay in your breath. If you're in shoulder stand, move to plow. Lower your head like your toes over the top of your head. And then if you're in plow, tuck your toes under and lift the back of your legs toward the ceiling. Stretch out through your back legs. Wherever you are, I implore you, breathe deep and slow. If you're one in plow, Go to deaf man's pose. If you're in waterfall, you're golden. Remain there. How do you remain there? You don't get too much thought going on. Now you got deaf man's pose, come back into plow. Safely put your hands back on your lower back if you're in plow. 
One leg at a time, rise up to shoulder stand. Mindfully move up. Take a breath in. Then all of you recline all the way onto your backside. Happy baby, excuse me, Supta Baddha Konasana. Sorry about that. Just put the bottoms of your feet together, let your knees move toward the floor. Back to earth. Stay in your breath. Good, then draw your knees together. Take a full inhale. Then with your knees together, just drop your legs to the left. Spread out your arms right and left. And then look over to your right hand. Just a little easy twist. If your right shoulder's not on the ground, okay. I ask you not to effort here, no effort, just gravity and the weight of your legs will cause you to twist. Breathe in, breathe out. When you inhale, bring your knees back upright. And on your exhale, just let them drop to the right. They'll get all the way over as far as they can. Then turn your head to the left. Look at your left hand. Breathe. Take one more inhale. Let all that air go. And bring your knees back up into your chest. Folks, give yourself a hug. Fully fill your lungs. Shavasana. Go limp on your mat. Let your mind take over your breathing. This is your time to rest. Please enjoy your rest. Fill your lungs all the way. Let that air go. Perhaps stretch. Bring a little movement in your fingers and toes. You mindfully 
Bring yourself back to full awareness. Bring your knees one at a time into your chest. Embrace yourself. Move on to your right side. With your eyes closed, come to seated. Take a moment here with your eyes closed to set alignment structurally. Feel the top of your head facing the sky and feel your shoulders be above your hips. Draw your hands to your heart center. Three ohms, inhale. your forehead, fill your lungs. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Hey, I want to see if I can do something here. <laughs> I again appreciate all of you. Um, just to know that we are um, going to continue our virtual classes just as long as we possibly can. Um, and also, look out for some pop-up workshops. So we've got some things in the works where you can sit in your living room uh, and get some instructions from some of our teachers on different topics. Uh, so keep abreast of that, um, but stay in your practice. I thank all of you for being with uh, yourself tonight and sharing yourselves with our community. Um, and really that's all I have. Um, just like I always say, you worked out hard, so hydrate, stay safe, and I pray God would bless every single one of you. I, I really look forward to seeing you soon. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you, Frank. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. My pleasure, Sean. That was so funny, the dance. <laughs> <laughs> Shake it out, girl. <laughs> it's good to see you. Thanks for joining. Of course. Thank you. Jeff, you're in a sweet spot, man. Thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jeff.